David Birch, good evening. I'm so happy that you're going to join us at the June 22nd at the Bitcoin Innovation Conference. And you have a little bit of a provocative title. Um, blockchain is um, not a technology, but a religion. So I'm very curious, why, what, what's happening? Why, you, why that title? Have you lost well, the interest? <laughs> because, you know, I've been at a couple of events recently, a couple of meetings where people have told me that the blockchain is going to, you know, end poverty, transform the world's food supply, end our energy problems, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And so wonderful? when I ask, <laughs> I'm sure it will. So so here's the sort of typical conversation. So, so somebody said, well, you know, the blockchain is going to uh, revolutionize the delivery of public services. And I said, well, that's fantastic. That's really terrific. How is it going to do that? And they said, well, because blockchain. You know, it just it's there's no evidence that any of this is true. It's just it's a belief. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think trying to disentangle this belief mm -hmm. from the reality of where blockchain really can make a difference. I think that's an interesting topic to explore. And so and I think if you if you examine it in that way, I think given the work that we've done over the last couple of years, particularly in the finance sector, it seems to me that the really big application of blockchain isn't in fintech at all. It's in regtech. It's, it's, it's the ability to, or, or, and that's because the blockchain is a, is a sectoral, it's a cross firm, it's a multi-organizational platform. So if the blockchain can make it a little bit cheaper for me to send money, a little bit quicker for me to send money. By the way, there's no evidence it can do either of those things. But No, at the moment, it's an extremely inefficient, very expensive system to send money anywhere. So uh, so the idea that it's a kind of fintech that's going to make companies a little bit more, I don't see that. And the more time I spend working on it, the more I become convinced that it's really more of a reg tech. What the blockchain will do, or let's say what shared ledgers will do, and in some cases, a blockchain may be the best type of shared ledger to implement. But what shared ledgers will do is to do with reducing the overall costs of running a marketplace. It's to do with creating new kinds of more transparent markets, markets with, as I, as I put it last year, markets with ambient accountability, where, where the environment itself uh, uh, takes care of, of, of the, you know, auditing and, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So I, I see that as more of a reg tech than a fintech. So I'll be talking about two things. I'll be trying to explore this, like, why has it become this belief? Why do people believe in blood? They don't believe in internet of things or, I mean, we understand hype, right, Vincent? We've been around long enough. Yeah. This isn't just simple hype. There's something crazier going on. So we'll talk about that. And then we'll talk about getting rid of the hype focusing down on where can these technologies really make a difference and i will be putting forward the case that it's reg tech it's at the market level that it will make a difference mm. okay the market well we are i think we agree that it's uh, the blockchain is only useful when a lot of different companies are involved who need to work together and share information and uh, and have a little bit of trust in each other so uh, i'm really looking forward to see that it's uh, how you're going to position that so, um, but we're also going to try to find some people who are really enthusiastic about the, the non-bank, the energy sector, and uh, all kinds of other things. Hey, um, next well, look, it was a great event. It was a great event last year, Vincent. So I'm really looking forward to it. Again. Yeah, I'm really excited that you uh, want to come back because you immediately hop over to Denmark to 2020, right? And you're going to basically pre present your new book. And how, what's the name of the book going to be? Well, the book is called uh, Before Babylon, Beyond Bitcoin, mm -hmm. and the subtitle is From Money We Understand to Money That Understands Us. So the idea that is people think they understand money. They think of money as gold and pieces of paper. They think they understand it. That's not money anymore. Money, any, money now is, is information. It's data. It's all those kind of things. And uh, what that money is going to look like is going to be very different from the money we have now. People think the way money works is some kind of law of nature. Mm -hmm. But the whole 
you know, central banks, commercial banks, all this kind of stuff. These are institutional arrangements that come about because of certain historical organizations and settlements and agreements. There's no reason to believe it will be like this in the future. And so that's that's what I'm exploring there. Okay, so the book, so, yeah. the book is really not saying that blockchain is really not very interesting and it's just a little bit on the side, a couple of percentage points. It does have an influence in the future of the world, um, Dave. I, th I certainly think it's a plausible hypothesis that some form of shared ledger technology will be used to create currencies that are very different from the currencies we use today. Where I'm less certain is whether there'll be cryptocurrencies or not. Okay. Because it seems to me... Uh, it seems to me that the future of money, because of the democratizing and decentralizing nature of the new technologies, money will follow. The idea that we'll have one world currency is, is crazy. It doesn't even work for the euro. So in the future, we'll have more kinds of money. Uh, so who will create those monies? There's different possibilities. I think it's interesting to explore the idea of communities beginning to create their own money, money that embodies their own values. Mm -hmm. It's possible, in fact, it's likely that one of those communities will be cryptography. So, so you know, maybe there'll be some specialists. But I, I'm not sure about that for the majority of people. Well, let's, the majority um, of people want currencies that represent their values. Let's discuss it on June the 22nd. Blockchain is not a technology, it's a religion. Dave Birch will be there in Amsterdam on June the 22nd. And then we'll make sure that you meet everybody who...